I'm watching the first season of Teen Wolf for the first time. This is my live reaction on episode seven. I just don't get why the alpha is stronger with a pack, yet he's not like turning everybody in the town into werewolves. He's just going around murdering people, and I would think that if you needed a pack, why are you not turning more people? Yeah, Allison, don't be concerned that you're just walking into a dark-ass school by yourself. Like, you've never watched any horror movies ever? At this point, don't you guys think it would just be easier if you just, like, sat the alpha down? Which is kind of like, hey, what is it that you want? Look, the alpha knows who you are, okay? He bit you. He knows who you are. He knows where you live. He knows where you go to school. If he wanted to kill you, he would kill you. Maybe he just wants to reconnect with you and shoot the breeze. Honestly, every time these teen shows are trapped in school, it never makes any sense. They basically ran into like 20 different rooms that have windows. Just jump out the window. And I know what you're going to say to me. You're going to be like, well, they didn't want to cause any noise so the werewolf can hear them. The werewolf has superhuman hearing. He can hear their heartbeats, for goodness sake. He knows where they are. Going upstairs and going down the fire escape is not going to work. Just jump out the window and just pray and hope that you're super fast. But again, he knows where you live. So I still vote you should just talk to him. You know he wants you, Scott, so why not just sacrifice yourself? This episode kills me. So they try to call the police, and the police basically don't believe them. So then they're like, uh, Styles, you should call your dad. The dad sends them to voicemail. So at this point, they all know that there is a werewolf chasing them, right? There literally is like no hiding it. So the next logical thing would be like, Hey, Allison, did you know that you come from a family of werewolf hunters? Maybe you should call your dad. Allison's dad and sister gives me weird vibes. Like they don't play the role as like a brother and sister relationship. You know what I mean? Great, now we're going to get at least five episodes of Scott like moping around because, oh, his girlfriend broke up with him. So sad. I'm being chased by a werewolf who wants me to kill all my friends. Yet all I can think about is the girl that broke up with me. If you're having some weird like werewolf manic episode in the classroom, is your first instinct to like go to the locker room, rip off all your clothes and take a cold shower? Like why? You kissed his girl, dude. After everything he's done for you. That's effed up, bro. So is Jackson going to turn or what? I've been waiting like five episodes to see if he's going to turn. So what is it? Like if you just get scratched, you get some sort of weird wolf poison, but you don't turn? Okay, now I'm officially dead, okay? The mom just let Jackson look up something on her computer at the hospital. Who, who, who does that? The werewolf thing, I can believe, okay? That, I draw the line. Look it up on your phone, Jackson. There's like four episodes left in the first season. Am I going to finish it? Of course. I'm not a quitter.